The Edmonton region is a top destination for any company looking to open up gaming studios and invest into the North American market. Our region has a long history of pioneering innovative research at the intersection of artificial intelligence and games. World-class institutions like the University of Alberta and the Alberta Machine Intelligence Institute, or AMI, are key drivers of this innovation. We host a breadth of video game developers here. Our AAA studios include BioWare, Improbable, and Beamdog. And there is a growing ecosystem of AA studios and indie developers. We're fortunate today to be joined by top industry leaders in the Edmonton gaming community. Matthew Guzdile from Amy and Improbable Studios' Aaron Flynn are here today to discuss some of the exciting work coming out of our region. First up, to talk talent. We have Gary McKay. He's the general manager of Edmonton's top AAA studio, BioWare. Gary, thank you for making time for us today. Hey, no, thank you for having me. I'm really excited to be here today. So Gary, what's special about the Edmonton region when it comes to game development? Yes, of course. Edmonton's biggest strength is its talent. Any studio looking to set up here will be impressed by the quality of our education systems. Our universities and colleges are world-class, and there are a lot of really talented people here that gaming studios can draw from. It goes well beyond game designers and software developers. There's a talent pool that includes graphic artists, designers, story and fiction writers, project managers, and artificial intelligence. As game development begins to use AI and machine learning more and more in game development and user engagement, the Edmonton region has the potential to be a really important enabler for our industry. Well, that is really interesting. How is machine learning driving development at BioWare? Yeah, I think uh, that's a good question. Machine learning is absolutely an area that we're investing in and, and looking at how we can bring machine learning into how we think about both testing, developing, designing our games. And there's huge opportunity going forward, but it takes a really strong relationship. And we have a great relationship with the University of Alberta. And one of the things we're doing is working with them on trying to test out where are the areas in our game development that we can push machine learning to make them more innovative and better. And of course, University of Alberta is a, is a world-class education institution on machine learning. And uh, we couldn't be more thrilled to tap into experts in that area. Yeah, I completely agree. That's really great to hear that our universities are so easy to work with. Um, now, tell us about international teams. What's it like to bring an in international talent into the Edmonton region? Yeah, Canada also makes it really easy to bring in talent from around the world. If we need to bring in someone from another country, we can usually have them here and working the next day. That's truly amazing. If they need to be here longer term, we can access Canada's global talent stream and have them up and running within two weeks. And that's a massive advantage for being in Edmonton and in Canada. Yeah, that's a really great program. Uh, if viewers want more information on that, they can reach out to me or, or the Edmonton Global team here and we can, we can provide more information. Thanks for your time today and for telling us a little bit more about BioWare. Next up, we have Aaron Flynn. He's the general manager North America with Improbable Studios located here in Edmonton. Hi, Aaron. Thanks for your time today. Hi, Brent. Great to see you again. Can you tell us a little bit about the growing tech industry here in the Edmonton region? Yeah, I think that CBRE report that says that tech talent has grown 53% in the Edmonton region in the past five years is really acknowledging something I've been fortunate to see on the ground here, which is the rise of this really, really smart and capable uh, set of developers who are coming into the talent marketplace and, uh, and getting hired and, and really doing amazing work. So that's been great. Yeah, Aaron. The CBRE report named Edmonton as one of the top tech talent pools in North America. Uh, how is improbable harnessing the power of that talent pool? So we're about 100 folks here in our studio right now, wonderfully technical people, people with uh, degrees, PhDs even, uh, and then an awesome array of very creative individuals all helping to build our game. So is access to talent driving growth? Uh, there really is a lot of studios opening up here. Yeah, there's a number of studios here now in the region. Um, I think at last count it was 65, somewhere in there, and they're cropping up all the time. Uh, it's the deep technical knowledge and expertise and the passion that exists in our city that's helping to do that, while at the same time, um, having access to the University of Alberta and a lot of the uh, intellectual horsepower that exists there is, is phenomenal and, and really, really uh, a unique enabler of video game studios here in our region. That's really excellent to hear, Aaron. Uh, you know, our viewers today are, are in China. Why should a Chinese firm choose Edmonton over any other city for investment? 
oh, I think a Chinese uh, company should choose Edmonton because of one word, and that's potential. There is so much here that can happen with um, the investment and the support of an established or potentially new entity here. Um, and there's just so many possibilities that are here for Chinese investment, uh, especially in the video game sector here. Uh, Ch the Chinese market is so knowledgeable and so deep on what uh, players want and, and where the trends are going. And they could get so many talented people here and so many phenomenal uh, developers here if they tapped into this market. Thank you, Aaron. We really appreciate your time today and your insights. Now, we're also joined today by Matthew Guzda. We've mentioned the University of Alberta and Amy a lot. He's with both. Uh, Matthew, can you tell us a little bit about what's driving game innovation right now at Amy? Definitely. I think that the research at Amy sort of driving gaming comes from two major spheres. Uh, one of them is reinforcement learning, uh, which was sort of made famous potentially by AlphaGo. Uh, the lead scientist on AlphaGo was an Amy grad, uh, which is pretty exciting. But in 2015 and 2016, Amy had the first instance of an AI solving poker, so to speak, beating sort of world-class poker players. Uh, but the other area I'd say is sort of how Amy research is helping drive game design. So not just having AI play games, but having AI learn to make games. So is reinforcement learning, is that the next big leap in the game industry? So traditionally in the games industry, there's an understanding that graphics is king, uh, that games need to compete in terms of graphics. And that era is nearing an end. We are at photorealism if we're not very close to it in most cases. And there's an understanding in the game development industry that AI is the next place they're going to be competing. You have places like Sony AI saying that they're going to be creating NPCs with reinforcement learning, right? They're going to be the perfect opponents. Uh, you have things like uh, Hearthstone, Blizzard in the US uh, producing reinforcement learning opponents. You have things like Ubisoft saying that they're going to be creating uh, NPCs, generating NPCs that are more human-like than ever before. If the companies are serious that they want to do this, then they are going to need expertise in artificial intelligence. Um, the University of Alberta and Amy, we are number one in North America. We are number two in terms of technical games research in the world. Uh, if these companies are serious about AI, they should be coming to Edmonton. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Amy's a real asset here. Uh, what about the University of Alberta? Um, so I would say that the University of Alberta is a major driver of game development in the region. I, obviously, if we go back, BioWare sort of helped kickstart this all, uh, right? There's this notion of the BioWare effect here in Edmonton, where BioWare is this massive games company. It's therefore brought a whole bunch of game talent into Edmonton, which then, you know, spreads out and creates this ecosystem. Uh, but the University of Alberta is a major contributor to that ecosystem. We have this game certificate program, which graduates, you know, dozens of students every year. We have people who do games as research, graduates about 31 graduate students every year. Um, and that brings a lot of expertise, particular kinds of expertise into this area. Uh, if you look at listings of like academic games, artificial intelligence, uh, U of A is the second in the world. Um, we are extremely good at the intersection of AI and games. Thank you so much, Matthew. There's a lot going on at Amy and we're glad to be part of it. The Edmonton region is primed and ready. You can see that we have a, a, a strong talent pipeline. The tech industry in Edmonton is growing and it's growing fast and we invite you to be a part of it. For more information on, on what's going on in Edmonton, reach out to the Edmonton Global Team. We really hope to hear from you.